There probably isn't a UU congregation anywhere that doesn't spend a fair amount of time thinking about how best to educate and inspire its youth. And when it comes to teenagers, that thinking and planning has to include how to get them excited enough to show up. The UU Fellowship of Wilmington, North Carolina has a theology curriculum that's definitely intriguing. Long ago, well, 2009, in the galaxy of North Carolina, Robert Keenitz watched a PBS documentary on the Star Wars mythology. And then he thought about the teenagers of his church, the UU Fellowship of Wilmington. Hmm. So how could you go wrong using Star Wars with all of the the splash and the flash and and the interesting these kids have been brought up with that they've they've been raised with Star Wars in their background definitely one of the better classes I've taken here we talked to them about the concept of the hero's journey um, we talked to them about Joseph Campbell's work and how George Lucas had been influenced by them I mean, the hero's journey, it definitely applies to growing up and maturing and figuring out who you are as a person and your place in the world, who you want to be, what you want to do. We had to have, have the students kind of reframe the seven principles for a more galactic and universal um, uh, viewpoint. So we took out words that were uh, species uh, oriented and made everything more universally egalitarian so that we could include everything from Wookiees to Jabba the Hutt to all beings that, that were out there in the galaxy. We will look for points in which UU principles are being used or even points in which UU principles are, being, are not being used. It, it's all about behavior. It's all about how are you going to react under considerably extreme circumstances, under difficult circumstances, as your life unfolds. Everyone has to go through their own hero's journey to become the person that they're going to be in this world. And we see in these very short cinematic clips um, the hero's journey unfolding very, very rapidly and quick decisions that are having to be made about things that are going to affect people for the rest of their lives. And this brings to home uh, for the kids the, the reason for the solidity and the foundation of the UU7 principles. In Western religions, we'll take Christianity for instance. From there we talk to them about the common qualities of religion, the concept of an afterlife, the concepts of good and evil, man's place in the universe, etc. Unitarian Universalism doesn't believe that, but some of the other Christian religions do. I've never looked at it that way, that there was religion and Star Wars, like the Jedi religion and everything. And then after watching it and us going through it, talking about it, I've, uh, it just seems so much more. Uh, that's what really got me interested, is the religion of it. One of the really interesting things about this class is, really, I've seen all the movies, but not for a while. It's really great to kind of go back over them and really like pay attention a lot to the stuff behind the scenes and I had no idea there was so much. This is brilliant. This is great. We can take something that our youth are familiar with and then, and then deconstruct it to bring about a, a conversation, a dialogue about their faith. We have some students who have discussed with their parents how they're fascinated that they are not being told what to say, but they are being asked what they think. And it's encouraging to have those children opening up and learning more about themselves. It's not just the kind of geeky, nerdy ones who are really enjoying it. It's, it's all the teens that are really enjoying it and all the adults that are involved, which we might probably actually be considered geeky, nerdy, but that's okay. <laughs> What's been exciting is that I've seen adults come to the church because their kids heard about the, pro, the curriculum from one of their schoolmates and they were fascinated by it and then they wanted to come. What better curriculum can you come up with than something that excites our youth, gets them talking about their faith and is so exciting their parents want to come and see what this faith is all about.